Good day. So this is my quick review of Damn Small Linux. This is a, according to their description page on DistroWatch, it's, it was a business card live CD distribution. It was 50 megabytes at the time. And it went on a hiatus uh, after 12 years. Uh, it went from 2012 to 2024. They just released it again. So it's back. And I'm here to just check it out because this is something I ran on, I believe it was a CD-ROM at the time. I ran this off of a CD-ROM and, you know, just on like an old computer just to try it out because I thought it was so cool that you could run an operating system live. And it's back. So I'm running it in a virtual machine now. And you can see I'm logged in. You can click on the menu to bring up this menu. And you got the terminal, you got file manager, you got web browser. Let's see if it's Firefox. Yes, it's Firefox web browser, and it launches very quickly. So that's called, let's see what light web browser is. Let's see. And oh, here, here's a nice little description right in, in the distro itself from their website. The new DSL 2024 has been reborn as a compact Linux distribution tailored for low-spec x86 computers. It packs a lot of applications into a small package. All the applications are chosen for their functionality, small size, and low dependencies. DSL 2024 also has many text-based applications that make it handy, handy, to used, handy to use in a term window or TTY. Okay, so let's see. There it is. Super light GUI browser is called Dillo, D-I-L-L-O. And that's just good to know in case you're, you're on like a computer that's super low spec and want to run a light web browser. You could just try it on there. It doesn't hurt. And it's got word processor. It's got numeric, email client. Let's go check it all out. I'm going to click menu. We're going to go to applications. We got archive manager, leaf pad, other desktops. What does that mean? Other desktops. Oh, okay. So other desktop environments, Fluxbox. Uh, our window managers, I mean. Let's close that. We're not going to mess with that while we're recording a video. Let's go back to applications. So we got uh, ZZZFM file search. Let's check that out. So you can just search for files. It's like the Windows file finder back in the day. Kind of reminds me of. I don't know if it was like Windows 98. Um, distro tools. CH root rescue scan. CLI app. It's got a lot of stuff on here. DSL, yeah, it's damn small Linux, bootable USB maker, live USB kernel updater, login manager, remove menu item, user switcher, Wi-Fi switch. Games, it's got Pac-Man for console, Gav, Tenmato, Tuxpack, and VI Tetris. Let's see what VI Tetris is. And it's just like, it loads as fast as you can click it. Let's go to level one. It actually, it runs really well. And, I, and I'm not saying it's, I'm not implying that it's hard to run Tetris. It's just, everything just runs really quick. Like, uh, like you'd expect, I guess, with a lightweight Linux distribution. Let's close that. So, and another thing is you can right click to bring up this menu anywhere. You don't have to go down here to the menu to click it. So you can just right click and bring up the menu I forget what this is called. Was it called Fluxbox or whatever? Uh, it's a really lightweight window manager for for Linux that the menu just pops up anywhere. I think this is it because I, I remember this like 10 years ago. And we got, let's see, we go back to applications. We go to graphics. We got a paint graphics editor. Okay, cool. We got menu. We got... Go back to internet. We got Seni, Conman UI setup, Dillo, Firefox ESR, it's an extended release, I guess. I think that's what it stands for. Uh, GFTP, so it's like an FTP client. Yeah, wow. A lot of stuff here that I've never even heard of, but it's here. Links to Mutt, NetSurf web browser, search bar, Silfeed, and UFW firewall, multimedia. Got Awesome Mixer, Awesome Mixer Equalizer, Media Player, Sound Card Chooser, XMMS. That's a that's a good player. XMMS. Does that remind you of something from the '90s? If you're my age, yes, it does remind you of Winamp. It really whips the llama's ass. 
what a great MP3 player. So let's go back to applications. Oops. We got Office. You got Abbey Word, Numeric, Mutt, Excalc. This has got so much. Okay, let's close that. Let's go to Applications, Office. You got Excalc. Oops. If I could use my mouse properly. Let's see. What is Zethura? I don't know. No document opened. What What am I doing? I, I don't, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm not going to lie. If you haven't guessed already. Let's see. Let's uh, go to Applications. Preferences. Wow. Configure auto mount, con man, UI setup. I'm just going to skip through these. There's a lot of preferences. Let's go to AR and R. Why not? Let's just click it. Virtual screen layout editor. I feel like there's so much, it's, it's almost overwhelming, but maybe it's just because I don't know what a lot of the things do, <laughs> but it's really cool that they're there. I feel like I have everything I need to just get a distribution going and just using my computer, which is cool. Um, program, uh, programming is vim.tiny. Let's see, vim, vi improved. So let's, you can do Q, oops, just quit. Okay, we got app killer. Let's try, let's try that out. Let's, let's run something that maybe would freeze up. Let's do light web browser and let's go to app killer. So you can see my icon is now a little like skull and crossbones and I can click on this to kill it, I assume. And it works. Very cool. So, and this is Conky right here. Um, it's like this little statistic that's just running on the background of the desktop. That's nice. And you can see that I'm using only 120 megabytes of RAM. Very impressive. Let's open up Firefox again and see what the RAM jumps up to. Let's go to web browser. Okay. Let's go to google.com. Let's go to distrowatch.com. Uh, and you can see the RAM went up from 100 megabytes to 551 megabytes. That's because just of the web browser. But let's close the web browser and the RAM will go down to 123 megabytes. Very efficient that it's running on this amount of RAM. That's really impressive. That's like a Docker container low amount of RAM. That's so cool. So all in all, I think it's really cool. I think Damn Slim All Linux lives up to its name still, even though the file size is significantly larger than 50 megabytes. But that's because of like kernels and computers have changed in the last 10 years, and there's drivers that are included in the ter in the uh, kernels. I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's the reason, because it, there's no way to avoid it, the kernel size growing when you have to support more computers over the span of a decade. So very cool, and... Check it out if you wanted to. Thanks.